segue because I want to know the most important question is, how do you make the sound for so many cars in a car game? Well, I mean, you can't have this many cars without having loads of good car recordings. Absolutely. You need to have really good source. Mm -hmm. And one thing I'm really excited um, to share with everyone is that we've actually been out and we've recorded and added over 320 brand new car recordings to our existing library, which mm -hmm. means that we've got an absolutely phenomenal amount of source to make the car sound as best as they possibly can. So the cars in Horizon 5 are going to sound legit. And to prove that, we actually have something we can watch now. We're going to unpack a little bit about how you recorded these because it looks incredible. So we're going to be showing this in the background. Unfortunately, we're going to be yapping over the top of it. So if you do want to watch a clean version, don't worry, there will be another one uploaded at a later time. But Fraser, what is it we're looking at here then? Uh, so we're just looking a little bit at some of the cars that we've been out and recording um, over the last few years. Um, it really did take the last... Um, Two, three years to, to, years really, to, do yeah, this. to really um, uh, sort of build everything from the ground up. Uh -huh. we, we needed that extra time to really look at how we revolutionize how we were doing the cars because it just takes a long time it, with the old process that we have. So we've got brand new processes in place. And as I mentioned, it really starts with getting really great car recording source. Um, so with this many cars, we need to get out and source a lot of cars, mm -hmm. like finding, finding I mean, you people. lot don't have these just in your garage. I wish. Just ready to I really record. do wish. <laughs> I mean, do you know what? They did actually record a Mustang. And then I found out the day after that they'd been at a racetrack with a Mustang. And I was like, guys, it's <laughs> like. It's <laughs> Maybe it says something about the sound of your car. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, oh yeah, man. no, it's, it's true. We'll get your car out and record it as well. Thank you. Um, we, it, it does take a long time to source all the different people with all these different vehicles and figure out, get them to send us videos of, of like what they sound like because you know every car, um, there's hundreds of variations of mm -hmm. them and they do vary in how they actually sound as well. So we want them to sound crisp and, and full of like all the frequencies that, that we, we to added to Forza Horizon 4. And there was a lot of conversation around the sound of it. Um, is that, does it sound stock? Like, is that an upgraded one? And, and honestly, we, we kind of never really had that concept of, mm -hmm. of the two in a Horizon game before. Um, so one thing we were really keen to do was try and get multiple Supras out and record. So this is the stock one that you can see here. Still sounded great, mm -hmm. so absolutely terrific. Um, really cool sort of dump valve sounds on it. Um, but then we actually got another um, Supra along to the same session, okay. which just battled it out. <laughs> and um, you'll see coming up in a second, it, they both were revving next to one another and it really, paints the picture of what it sounds like to upgrade your car from, from mm. stock up to something something else. The thing I loved about the, the upgraded oh, there Supra it is. is, there it is. There they are, head to head, let's go. <laughs> well, listen to that. That would blow your head off. Absolutely spitting incredible. fire there. Yeah, yeah, we actually lost a few microphones to these. <laughs> I can um, imagine, yeah. Yeah, we've got a microphone cemetery somewhere in PG. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one sounded incredible. When it, when it passed by, you just hear the, the kind of sounds yeah, as, it, as it goes that past. Yeah, noise it's exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, and like all, that, all those sounds that we record in these cars across the um, 320 plus, we've managed to um, curate them and, uh, and really make a, a massive library of, of source out of all that stuff as well. Mm. So I suppose the well, talking the of have a listen, uh, we do have an exclusive look and listen right now at some of these cars in action. So let's take a peek. And once again, uh, we'll, we will be pausing to listen to some of these beauties, but we will be putting a clean version up later. So let's have a listen to this one first. This one's a Supra tearing it through the living desert. It is, yeah. That's the black Supra, I think, or w one of the other ones that, that you saw on that car. They've got a Lancia Strata. It's one of my absolute favourite cars when I was a kid. It's amazing. This car handles really nicely. It's really kind of bouncy along all the, the different terrains. Oh, here we go. Bit of deja vu here. <laughs> and you, you really hear that rasp coming through that, that we yeah. heard out on track. We won't need to encourage you to do this, but people will already go and grab all these clips and lay them over top of it and then realize that, mm. that the Stratos we had on track really does sound exactly like the one. That's game. what I'm going to be doing after the stream. It's going to be going back and seeing if I can get all the different sounds and be like, hmm, yes, you did do it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I think, translated really well into the game. Yeah, 
Golf R there. This one's lovely. Quite a lot of people around the studio have this car, yeah. so uh -huh. there's a lot of people who know exactly how it should resonate sound. Resonate with this one, yeah. yeah. I think it's one of the things that, I mean, following last episode in which we were talking about the sky and the sky being an actual image of the Mexican sky and now knowing that these cars are the actual recorded, it's, that it's your, what I'm trying to say is art is quite literally imitating life <laughs> yeah. in a game that is ridiculously fun to play, right? We're trying to be as, as accurate and um, sort of, I guess, trying to portray real life as, as much as we possibly mm -hmm. can whilst making it fun for all the players to listen to. I love the sound of this GT. Uh, the uh, Hurricane cover car from FH2. It's the vibes coming off that right now, with the fireworks and the background. Oh, goodness. When is it November 9th? <laughs> <laughs> is it now, please? This one was interesting because um, someone on the dev team actually has this in uh, in the car park, and every day he would come around and say, "Come and have a listen, like, <laughs> you, you, like make sure make sure it sounds exactly like this." Do some extra um, credit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These Ferraris sound really mean, and we've got some really good Ferrari recordings in the game now. And of course, the Dodge Viper which I think a lot of people will be happy to see this feature here. Ooh. Just a little snippet. <laughs> and something interesting to point out here is, um, I guess when, when you see this video after the, the stream, something to listen out for is all the different tire sounds and all the different vehicles mm -hmm. um, slap off of the canyon walls. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask this. Um, it's something I know very fondly from the Forza community is that they all love slapping on turbos and superchargers their cars. And so I, I sort of have to ask on behalf of them if those have improved as well. They have. So I think... Wonderful. I <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm off. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mentioned that we, because we've been out and recorded so many cars, and especially something like the, the different Supras, they all come with different um, blow-off valve sounds. We've got this massive library of sounds now. Mm -hmm. Um, as part of our improvements, we've actually created a brand new modular system, which uh, essentially um, it sort of intelligently takes all of our database information that we have. So it figures out, um, is it a V8, is it a muscle car, is it modern or is it vintage? And basically pulls from a library of different sources so that it attaches them onto the cars for you. Okay. Whereas before it was quite a static system. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I'm really excited about is that all of that stuff I was telling you about granular synthesis running at 90 frames per second. We've actually now got all the turbo winds, the supercharger winds, and all the transmission winds running through that same system. So all of that is super reactive. Um, and it, it, they sound really good like up next to the, the car engines. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the cool things using this new modular system is that it actually allows us, um, when you're upgrading your car, to hear the different sounds of the turbos and superchargers as they're applied. Oh, so folks will be able to experience that in real time when they come to upgrade their own vehicles. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Wow. So, yeah, okay. so you'll now, as you're upgrading your car, you'll be able to hear those upgrades taking effect. So when you change the exhaust, the intake, the camshaft, you'll be able to rev the engine and hear the difference that, that makes to the sound mm. of your car. I think we actually have a video um, showcasing some of that in action. Any second. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, it's live. Yeah, so here you can see that um, we're in the uh, player house um, in the, the normal upgrade flow. Uh, and you can go to your intake. And here, as you apply the different um, stock, street, race, and sport, performance modes, um, you can hear that actually change the sound of your car. And don't worry, I've talked all over the top of it, but we will make this video <laughs> available after <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, a cool new feature as well, you can now rev your engine from inside the garage. So as you're trying out oh, these I different like upgrades, that. you can rev the engine and see exactly what it sounds like. I'm also a big fan of the graph, just gonna say it. <laughs> Love a graph, it sort, of, it sort of adds to how nerdy and wonderful this all feels. 
So you can do it with your exhaust as well, um, depending on the upgrade paths per uh -huh. car. Uh, you'll be able to hear your uh, exhaust note change. And it's important to point out that this doesn't actually just, it doesn't change the volume of the car because then it would unsettle the mix. What it does is it actually changes the character of the car. So it, mm. it, it sounds completely different and it gives you that feeling of actually taking off a complete exhaust and replacing it with a, okay. a, an entirely different manufactured part. And then one thing, this is one of my favorite parts of the, um, we've been working with the, the physics team really, really closely uh, to introduce uh, drive train flex back into the, the game, which is really cool. And that sort of gives you that wobble on the car so that as you're taking off in lower gears, because yeah. it goes, it's uh, reacting uh, to it, yeah. And then you, as you're in higher gears, it's kind of <laughs> wobble, wobble, um, which is really cool. <laughs> Um, but Any more sounds of what it does? Uh, on, honestly, Charlie, just he does this wait. all the time. <laughs> 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 he, he's like that guy from Police Academy. In, un, unsufferable. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, and the, the other thing you would have seen there on the, the camshaft upgrades is that a lot of people picked up on the limiter behaviors in some of the, the cars. Mm -hmm. So as the, the car is bouncing off the limiter, um, if it's at a lower one, it might all the cars in Forza Horizon 4 used to have a, a set limiter behavior. So they go like, wow, 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 where they're up the top. Mm -hmm. Whereas as you upgrade it, you'll hear it kind of go, wah, 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 and it's up the top. Uh, do you, you do gonna this in me. meetings? All the time. Is this how you time. communicate what you want your yeah, team to I do? Yeah, I want a little bit more <laughs> rather than um, It works. I completely understand what you mean, so it's effective. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you upgrade your car um, on your intake, your exhaust, um, you will have seen there that we had, as you go through all the different turbo layers, the supercharger layers, the centrifugal um, superchargers as well, uh, you'll hear all the, those changing in real time as you rev, as well as when you apply the like stock street race and sport modes for each of the different turbos, mm -hmm. it'll go from being kind of like a to more of a I don't think we could do a show without these now. I want you to know that. There you go. I'm just going to be wheeled just on for the sound on. effects. <laughs> Here's the sound of the week. <laughs> just, just as an aside, while we're looking at this, um, it's cool to note that if you're wondering why the car looks so so realistic, why it sits in the scene so nicely, it's because you've got you've got ray tracing active as well. So actually.